Sure, okay, so I've always been enjoying sales, doing sales. Um, I used to run a collection agency at one point. It was very negative, but I had to hire people to train them how to do it. And then when I moved from Regina to Calgary, I hooked up with a realtor. They actually moved me here and I really enjoyed looking at houses. After enough of that business, I decided that, uh, hey, I can do this. I gave it a try. Fell in love with the industry and really enjoyed the people and help people and you do a good job for them and it's funny you get paid. If you don't, you don't get paid. I like that. Oh man, there's so many. Um, well, I'm a sports enthusiast. Um, I love baseball. I coached baseball for 17 years, youth, youth boys. Um, went to a Canadian championship with Little League. Uh, went to World Series with Babe Ruth. And um, Calgary's always been a um, tough place to play baseball because of the weather. You never know what it's going to be like. But uh, when the games got in, and early morning practices were tough, but important. And um, just being with young kids and uh, watching them grow as a person and uh, good baseball is a lot of fun. But what I found with uh, with real estate is you can uh, be yourself, but you also have to learn as time goes on. You have to adjust to people's personalities and that takes a lot of work and you learn a lot about yourself. But when you do that, you intersect with people and you actually talk to them and listen to what they have to say. And they're fascinating people out there. Realtors are fascinating. Um, and we take care of people if you do it properly and you learn and you learn to communicate with each other and that's really really important especially doing a deal we're cooperative and we need to understand that you can advocate hard for the seller you can also advocate hard for the buyer but if you advocate for those folks and do it professionally and communicate with each other if there's a deal to be had for the right reasons you can do it Well, again, uh, working with a lot of fascinating people and uh, enjoying the business and wanting to learn more, I uh, become sociable. And I'm a bit of a sociable person, so I enjoyed being at different events that Kreb had put on at the time when I first started. And as time went on, people said, well, why don't you volunteer? Why don't you, you know, give back? And I started to do that. And then all of a sudden, wow, I really enjoy this. And I really enjoy the industry. It's a way of life and um, just continued on. So, Well, it's important to be a really good listener <clears throat> and understand that the uh, topics being pre presented to you or the issues being presented to you will have two sides to them and you just can't uh, emotionally react to a decision or a question. You have to think about it. How do you feel? Put yourself in the shoes of the other person that's bringing that motion forward. And what are the ramifications to the membership? It's not about me. It's not about the board. It's about the members. So it's important you vet everything as much as you can and ask tough questions. Um, don't be afraid to ask the tough questions, but be respectful in the process. There is a process. And uh, if you understand that, it's part of governance and um, that's the way it should be done. But I'm not a shrinking violet by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Sometimes I push things too far, but that's okay too, because um, you have to respect if you are getting pushed back and you perhaps might be wrong, you back off. and. Again, listen and maybe you'll learn something. A approachable, fair, um, has opinions, um, but is reasonable and a good leader. I really believe that uh, leadership is a very important part of uh, being a realtor if you want to get back to the industry. And I think I'm also a good realtor and I do listen and take care of my people. And um, I like dealing with other realtors as well. And that's the key thing. I love communicating with other realtors um, rather than just hearing about complaints. People, realtors want to talk. They actually want to talk. Um, it's not a win-lose situation. It's a win-win situation if you do communicate.